This is Alan Smith bringing you Wednesday, July 30th edition of the Southwest Florida Daily Tour of Homes and Foreclosures. Have a great tour of golf access homes for you uh, from the least expensive up to about the $300,000 range. Probably the most popular range that I always get requests for. Uh, but just so you know right off, I'm going to find that most people are going to find what they're looking for in that 2000 around that 2000 or newer home with the pool, three car, uh, you know, three bedroom, two bath, two car garage pool home with a dock pool heater etc etc is going to be closer to the 350 375 range now in 2009 that same home was about 225 250 however I really want to show you what's available from about 200 to 300 thousand today so I've taken a uh, taken a look there's about uh, no oh, I don't know about 61 listings right now in that particular price range for golf access homes in Fort Myers and Cape Coral and I've picked about 16 or 17 of them at random to give you a general idea I'll also post the list there on the Facebook page but if you're looking for a home on a canal on a waterfront in Southwest Florida I've been through every one of all the best buys I know exactly where they are and I'd be more than happy to show them to you give us a call get signed up for market watch or home search if you're coming to town in the next 60 days we need to hear from you now because what we'd like to do is be able to work one-on-one -on -one with you prior to when you get here so that when you get here you're gonna see the top 10 you know 15 best buys on the first two days you're here that way you're not going to ruin or waste the rest of your vacation because if you spend the rest of the, time, the week looking for a home that's better than the best ones we're going to show you on Monday or Tuesday by the time that you get around to make an offer on Thursday or Friday the best homes the best buys of course are already going to already be sold and the reason for that is simple a home here that's priced right is going to be shown five to seven times a day which means that the day that you've seen it it's had a week or two weeks of other people that came down a week earlier on vacation than you have that have already seen the home and then they look at the other ones and they decide that's the best buy and they put on an offer we had eight or nine clients last year who lost the homes of their choices because instead of making an offer on Monday or Tuesday the first two days they were here they waited until Thursday or Friday because uh, they were leaving on Saturday that sort of thing that sort of time frame before they made an offer and we want to prevent you from doing so Hey, here's uh, the 24-hour market watch. As you can get a, an idea, there's been 92 new listings. There's been 100 homes sold and 94 went pending. So in the last 24 hours, 194 homes have been sold in one way or the other, and only 92 have been pending. So as you can see, it's getting more and more difficult to find the perfect home for clients. However, our systems, market watch and home search, are so sophisticated, there isn't anybody else in town that has that system. Um, and it searches through even the for sale by owner uh, expired listings, all the bank owned inventory, uh, the foreclosures, the short sales and all of that. So if you're coming to town in the next 60 days, we want to get you signed up for that and get you receiving uh, those listings and taking a look at them. So give us Carol a call today at 239-872-7736 and let's get you set up for that. Let's start with today's tour here of homes. This first home, uh, again, are all going to be homes under 300000 We're going to start at the high end of the range and work down in Cape Coral, three-bedroom or larger uh, golf access homes. This first home, oh, let's see here. We need to change our report, it looks like. So I'm going to change deals here. Okay, here we go. This first home down is on Southwest 19th place. It's 300,000. It's a three bedroom, two bath, built in 1995. It's got about 3,000 square foot total living, about 1,400 uh, 25 square foot home. Golf access, it's been lovingly renovated over the last couple years with a total of $90,000 in upgrades. Now that would include the granite countertops, the refrigerator, tiles in the great room, laminate in all the bedrooms, a new heated saltwater pool and spa. Believe me, you want a saltwater pool over the chlorine pool. No, it doesn't taste like salt water. It actually tastes more like mineral water or like Perrier that you would drink. But of course, it's a lot healthier for your skin and no green hair and all that good stuff. 
A lot of nice stuff about this home. It's located in a beautiful southwest Cape Coral area and it's easy access to schools, shopping, health care and dining and all of that. And even a bonus, uh, the assessments are paid on this so you don't have that twenty dollars or $25,000 extra assessments payment that you have in some areas. Now this home is also on Southwest Cape Coral. It's also $299,900 off of Southwest 16th Place. This is a larger home. It, it runs about 5,000 square foot total, 2,200 square foot under air for a three plus den, two bath home built in 2004. So here's a newer one. Now this one is a short sale. If you do not understand short sales, please go watch my short sale video. I find 100% of the people that I've worked with over the last five years really don't have a real grasp and a firm understanding understanding on what a short sale is and how the process really works. Um, this one's a short sale at $299. Will it sell at $299 even if you made an all-cash offer? No. Uh, it will probably sell in the $340, $350 range. The $299 is just an, uh, like a tickler to get you to make an offer so they can turn it into the bank to find out what the bank would accept. And then once the bank comes back with a number, which is going to be by getting three appraisals by three different brokers, um, you know, so it doesn't really matter if the price they put on it was a dollar. Uh, it won't close for that. But this gives you a little idea on what you'd expect to see in a short sale for a great, great home down here in Southwest Florida at 299. Okay, $299 for this one. This is over on Everest Parkway, kind of a busy road, which is why you're going to see more house here for a little less money at the $299 figure. Three bedroom, two bath, 1989. This is sailboat access. Now Sailboat access generally lots go for you know the 250 to 300 number and again the reason I say that you're going to see more home here or in this case a home on a lot for 299 sailboat access is because it is on Everest Parkway which is a very very busy road. Now this home here has a pool, it's got granite countertops, newer cabinets, stainless steel appliances, it also has a wine cooler and electric fireplace. So a lot of nice things about this particular home over on Everest Parkway and if you uh, don't mind the busy road out front you can definitely get more bang for your buck and a wraparound dock as you see right there at the $299 figure. Okay this home here is over on Southeast. 31st Street, 299,000, 3,500 square foot total, 1,700 square foot under air, three bedroom, two bath, older home built in 78. This is pretty standard of what you're going to see at 300,000 and under for golf access homes. This one here is deep water direct sailboat access with a split bedroom floor plan, two car garage. It does have a pool. This home's got great bones and is ready for the next few owner. If you're ready to go do a remodel and do the updating yourself and you want to, uh, you know, benefit from having it fixed up your way and not having to pay for what somebody else has already done, this one would work for you. And it does have the extended concrete dock and an electric lift with the captain's walk around the boat for easy on and off your boat and all that sort of stuff. So this is a good one at 300000 Very typical of what you're going to see under the $300,000 mark for homes golf access. Let's move to the next one. Okay, 299 Sorrento Court, Cape Coral. This is a really nice area, three bedroom, two bath. Again, built in 67, direct golf access home. There's no bridges here. It's ideal for sailboats or the person who just wants the higher valued property down here. Sailboat access, meaning no bridges, uh, which means also closer to get out to the river, closer to get out to the golf. This home here has been nicely maintained. It's got the high uh, mansard cage, which has a solar heated pool. It has central vacuum in it. This this home is being sold as is, including the furniture. So turnkey with the furnishings, here you go. Even if the furnishings aren't your pick of furnishings, it's always nice to have a, a place to sit down and use your home while you're replacing it. It really takes a lot of the stress out of the whole changeover. Uh, the ca canal depth in the middle of this canal is over eight feet, according to the sailboat owner here. Uh, it has a 7,000 pound sailboat lift in it. This is the largest canal in Cape Coral that heads right out to the bay, and this is where the home is located at. So it's a really nice location. We used to live right down here. I know this information well. Go down this uh, uh, canal often. So if you need any help in any of the areas in Cape Coral, I'm an expert at all the boating and the waterway areas, and I'd be more than happy to advise you on uh, your choice of location, area, homes, values, and all of that. But you got to give me a call. 
299 Pelican Road, again another busy road, so you're going to see a little bit more home for the money here at 299. 4,300 square foot home, 1,500 square foot under air, three bedroom, two bath, built in 63. And I've got a video tour of home that, uh, of this home as well. This home is down in Southwest Cape, which of course uh, is usually about 75 to 100 thousand dollars more expensive than other areas in the Cape. This home is being offered fully furnished and ready to move into. So you're ready to go here the day you close. You can move right in. You can have it rented. You can use it until uh, you know your convenience to fix it up and do other things that you may want to do to it. This home also has a very successful as a vacation rental with tenants already booked for 2014. You can't beat the location. This home would rent for $140 to $180 a day in season for those of you who are considering uh, renting your home um, you know, to offset some of the costs on owning it. You can easily get $30,000 to $50,000 a year on seasonal rental income for your home down here. Uh, we have a lot of clients that do it. Uh, they manage it themselves. There's no need to have a management company and all the, 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 the costs and the hassles that go along with that. As you can imagine, we have a lot of people down here that use their homes for rentals. We have not enough rentals that people who want them, so it's very easy to do. You don't need a management company, and we'll be more than happy to show you how to do that. This home is on Southeast 17th. It's 298,000. It's got a great wraparound dock, as you see there. This is a pool home with golf access, 3,600 square foot total, 1,600 square foot under air, nice paver deck around the pool. Three bedroom, two bath, built in 81, but completely renovated in 2011. This is a vacation home, so it can be bought with everything for a slight additional cost chances are we can negotiate it into your deal if you want to make a real strong offer for this. This home's got a central location off of Southeast 17th and with the boat it's about a 20 minute uh, ride down to the river. It has a nice big pool area which I showed you there earlier with a nice size lanai, new kitchen and bathrooms, newer roof, new electrical and plumbing, uh, new tiles inside and out and it's decorated with quality furnishing so it's ready for you to use, ready for you to move into, use as your own. Uh, and away you would go there. Now this home here is at 289 off of Southwest uh, or Southeast 35th Terrace. This home was built in 79. Again, three bedroom, two bath. I have a virtual tour of this home as well. I'd love to show you if you're interested. 4,800 square foot total. 2,000 square foot under air for this great golf access home that has a split floor plan, large living and dining rooms, um, 7,000 pound captain's walk, a boat dock which is set up for uh, presently a larger type boat right now. A uh, lot of nice things about this home. The one thing that I noticed it was light bright and airy and it definitely gives you that feeling of a southwest Florida home with plenty of outdoor living space for your guests and, and for boating and all of that. Now this home here is a little less 289 Southwest 17th Avenue uh, in the Cape. Four bedroom two bath built in 2002. So this is a newer home uh, four bedroom. It's off of Chiquita, which is down in Southwest with a pool on a canal. Now this property has a tenant in it currently through November that would like to stay two more years. So if you want somebody who wants to stay for two more years, already have a tenant in place, you can lock in your home at today's prices. This home will easily be another fifty to seventy thousand dollars at this time next year. The inflation rate down here currently is about seventeen to twenty three percent for canal homes down here in Cape Coral. This would be a one to snatch up at that two eighty nine number. Now this is 289 for a 1978 three bedroom, two bath home, 1600 square foot under air, 3800 square foot total. And as you can see by some of these pictures, this home was redone fairly recently. It's light, bright and airy. It would make a great home as a vacation home or a seasonal rental as well. It does have a nice pool deck area, which is all done with a large lanai as well. Now this home is 284.9, it's 3600 square foot a uh, very nice pool area as you see here, three bedroom, two bath, built in 74. Here's an aerial view. It's got a wonderful location. It's close to the river off of Southeast 20th Avenue. It's direct access, no bridges, so you can bring your sailboat. You're going to gain value here. Your appreciation is going to be quicker and faster than a non-direct uh, access home, but you usually pay about fifty to $70,000 more for a sailboat access location than you do a standard location. So at 284.9, 
and it's a pretty good buy for a sailboat access location. Now this home here has got all sliders that lead out to your pool area. It's got a convenient pool bath, which is nice. All the assessments are in and paid for, so there's no additional things with that. I do have a list of the tenant-owned items in this hole. You can have all of this home for less than the $300,000, which is a pretty, pretty good opportunity right now to snap this one up at 284.9. Now we're doing the 279 range, three bedroom, two bath, built in 63, uh, 1200, uh, about 1300 square foot under air, sorry about that. This is down in the Yacht Club area. It's only a few minutes to the open river with access to the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, you're gonna enjoy what Southwest Florida has to offer. You can explore by boat, all the beautiful barrier beaches. You can get to all the downtown restaurants real quick. There's your wraparound dock with your boat lift for this particular home at 279,969. It still has some of the older tile floors and the non-granite countertops, but the nice things about that that is you're going to get into this home in that 250 to 279 range which will leave plenty of money and plenty of opportunity to maneuver and do the updates yourself and get your pick of colors and, and tiles and all of that sort of thing without having to tear out what somebody else has already paid for. Now here's a 279 built in 67 uh, over on southeast 17th. This home here really has a lot of the true Florida lifestyles. You know, you'll notice as you sip a drink at your private tiki bar here next to your large open air pool and spacious deck, this is a great area to entertain or just to sit back and relax and sip on a toddy. You have spacious bedrooms in this home, sailboat golf access canal, it's 10 minutes to the river. You're going to feel like you're in Key West in this home, sitting at the Tiki Bar, it has ample storage space around, it's convenient location to all the restaurants and shopping on Del Prado Boulevard, and it's just a short bike ride down to the river if you want to just, you know, take that morning stroll down with your coffee and whatsoever down riverfront. Now we're in the 250 range. Give you an idea on what homes in 250 and under, this was built in 68. Uh, it's off of Southeast 18th Avenue. Now this is direct sailboat access again in the Savona area with nice tropical landscaping. And as you enter this house, you're gonna see a wide open floor plan with a great room, an open kitchen design, and a Florida room in the back. There's plenty of room here and privacy for you to use as a seasonal rental or for an owner. Now on the dock, there's room to tie in a large boat, also shade cover and hammock stands. It has a freestanding stand-up pool as you see there, which would be nice to replace it with an in-ground pool. But at the 250 number, you're not gonna find anything with an in-ground pool in it uh, anywhere that I've seen recently, especially anything that is direct sailboat access. Now this one's 248. This is a least expensive three bedroom golf access, no bridge pool home south of Cape Coral Parkway. So if you're looking for something south of Cape Coral Parkway, notice it doesn't have the dock and the lift, another $30,000. Hey, all assessments have been paid on this one. It's just a few minutes to open water. So if you're looking for golf access, you wanna do it on the inexpensive, affordable, under 250 range, this would be it. At 248,000, 1,400 square feet, three bedroom, two bath, 3,000 square foot total. Now we're at 229.9 off of Southeast 30th Terrace, four bedroom, two bath, built in 76. This property has multiple bids on it, so it's going to take the best bid due by Tuesday, uh, yesterday, but they're extending it till today at 12 o'clock. Now this is a four bedroom, two bath golf access home. They got numerous bids on it. They're taking the highest bid. Any home under 250, nearly any home under 300,000, that is one of the better buys that I'm going to show you, is going to end up usually with bidding going on to buy it. It's a hot market down here. It's probably the hottest market we've had ever, every year since the, you know, the drop of the low point in 2007, in March of 2007, it has been a record year for down here in Southwest Florida. So if you're not buying a home or you don't already have your home picked out down here, you're losing out by the thousands. But if you want to get on this one, here's the opportunity to get into a bidding war at 229. I'd be more than happy to put on your bid and negotiate your best offer for you on that home. Now here at the last home, 224.9, really about the entry level for a golf access home. This one's got a nice dock area. It's got the small captain's walk, but it does have the boat lift. This is a short sale. Again, doesn't guarantee it's gonna sell for 224.9, which is the asking price. As a matter of fact, you're pretty much guaranteed it's not. Uh, they use a low price, 
just to get an offer in so that the bank will then take a look at it because the bank won't talk to you until you bring them an offer to tell you what they'll take. They're going to get three mark, full market value appraisals and that's what the bank is going to take. So uh, this is on the Rubicon Canal. All assessments are paid. This home has been meticulously maintained. It's got a nice pool area, nice look around, 3,200 square foot total, 1,400 square foot under air, again, built in 1982. Well, there you have it, folks. That's a great tour of homes down here in Southwest Florida. If you're looking for canal homes, let me know. I'm usually in about 100 of them a week. I can show you exactly where the best buys are. Let me know what you're looking at, regardless if it's a home or condo anywhere in Southwest Florida. I'd be honored to work with you on finding your home uh, down here in Southwest Florida. Carol's the number one buyer's agent in Southwest Florida. She works with both of our buyers, which is why I always give you direction to give her a call. However, uh, I'm more than happy to talk to you, answer any questions you may have so send me an email with all your questions or give me better yet give me a call 239-872-7736 i'm alan smith wishing you a warm wonderful southwest florida day bye bye now